wanted to do a film review, but I decided that I would hold off on that. So instead, I would like to do two more book reviews on A Farewell to Arms, as well as The Sun Also Rises. Um, I fell in love with Ernest Hemingway through these books, and I've read them recently. And of course, I want to give you guys a review and put it out right away um, so that, and then I will cover the film, um, a film review in my next videos. Um, so. To start with, um, The Sun Also Rises, I believe it's appropriate to start with that one since it was um, Hemingway's first book. Um, the Sun Also Rises basically tells about a group of, you know, people, I wouldn't say that they're friends or anything because it's very kind of iffy about that, but um, a group of expatriates that live in Paris and it's after World War One, and they're kind of damaged by the war and they live a life of, you know, leisure, of, you know, sleeping around, of drinking, and they're kind of if, you know they live a very purposeless lives and they just go on being doing whatever they're doing and living very empty so basically that the book centers on is on Jake Barnes who is an ex of course an ex-soldier who over uh, um, when he he became seriously wounded in the war and he, because of that he cannot you know enjoy women the way that he should be able to and he is in love with this woman named Ashley Brett um who basically is very very um she's very very promiscuous and she loves being with men but she's in love with Jake um so basically just follows them and then as they go leave from Paris um over the summer and go into Spain to watch the annual bullfights and basically it talks about their relationships how they deal with each other the heat um Hemingway touches based on a lot of things like homosexuality um lost of innocence uh masculinity um war you know, damaged by war and depression, really, really serious stuff. And it's one of his greatest pieces. And I think that that's why he gained so much, um, so much publicity, so much popularity literally overnight with this novel, because, you know, it's just, it's so insightful and so deep and we feel how damaged Jake Barnes is. And even towards the end when, you know, when she says, you know, we could have been good together. Like, you know, they're in the car and they're driving, um, after her many, you know, failed, uh, sex epades and basically, you know, she, and he says, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be pretty to think so, which basically sums up that his, his, um, he's kind of grown, you know, to understand that basically like, you know, this is the way things are and you can't change it and you could just live, which is very, very deep. And there's no, there's no serious revelation in this book. There's no, apex there's no anything like that but you do get a, a reality um you know you do get a, a strike of a strike of reality with this book and i think that's something that Hemingway does so well. the movies on the other hand i did not enjoy i love the actors you know errol flynn ava gardner tyron powers mel getfair i always love their work but i did not enjoy them in this film i didn't think that they were given enough they didn't give any enough backbone to the characters as well as the screen the dialogue was weak um there were certain things that was you know left out of the, the novel that i mean out of the movie that i think was very essential to the plot but anyway i I would give the film probably like I would say a three out of five like it was very average so anyway that's what I think about the book and the film and yeah so stay tuned for A Feral to Arms.